Hello everyone. I am doing an unboxing video of this bag right here. It is the Chloe Marcy mini shoulder bag. Um, as those of you who are into fashion probably know, the Chloe Marcy is currently a fairly well-known and popular bag. Um, but at the same time, it's not so well-known and not so mainstream that I see a lot of people carrying it, which makes it feel more exclusive. And that's kind of what drew me to this bag initially um, and to the brand. Um, so the reason I got this bag is because I was looking for a crossbody bag that would be a replacement for this pink Kate Spade crossbody bag that I typically wear on weekends just to run out and do some errands or sometimes even go to brunch. As you can see, it's a very bright pink magenta color and I got a couple comments from people that I trust that it didn't quite look right with my winter coat um, and it was looking a little too juvenile so I decided why don't I go out and try to get a nicer handbag and while I'm at it build up my handbag collection because I do enjoy a good handbag. And so I went out and got this Chloe Mini Marcy after doing a whole bunch of research. Um, I also have this nice tan Safiano bag by Michael Kors. It's the Hamilton shoulder bag. I like the gold hardware. I like the length of the chain for wearing on your shoulder. And it also has these cute little top handles. However, it is a bit too formal looking to be dressed down in jeans wearing it in my opinion. And also it's because it's a shoulder bag, it's not super convenient to be carrying on, for example, a European vacation where you want to be hands free and you're going to be walking around for maybe up to 8-10 hours a day. You don't want to be necessarily hauling this bag which is a little bit heavier so that's how I decided on this bag and let me go ahead and start unboxing it for you guys and here it is all right so as you can see Compared to the Michael Kors bag, it is maybe one half or two thirds of the size. Um, it's, I thought it would be a similar color, but it's actually much more of a dark, rich brown. Not totally sure that I like this color on the handles. So it's a little annoying. I like this side of the handles, but this side, I don't really know what the point of having this black thing is. It's the same thing on the other side. Um, you can see the tag. It says it's tan. I debated between this and the chestnut. It is a cute small bag. I love how it feels though. It's similar to my work bag in the way it feels. My work bag is this Kate Spade bag I have right here. It's large enough to fit my laptop as you can see and it has that same kind of pebbled leather. The Chloe Mini Marcy or Baby Marcy shoulder bag feels Similarly has that pebbled leather texture, but it feels even softer and more luxurious. The Safiano is very sturdy and durable, and I like the look, but it doesn't necessarily feel nice. This feels nice. I'm going to smell it. Ooh, and it is definitely genuine leather. Now let me open it.
I just unzipped it and I really didn't have any trouble unzipping it. I've seen some women complaining that the Marcy is difficult to unzip, but that was definitely not the case. Um, some people have said it's annoying that the zipper goes all the way to the end like a coat so that the two sides can be totally separated and then you have to be careful about putting them together to re-zip, which I guess is a little less convenient, but if you just don't pull it all the way to the end, it doesn't seem like you would have that problem. I'm taking out the stuffing. I like to keep that stuff though. Okay, so I can try to show you guys by getting the light right. This is what it looks like inside. It's a grayish brown cloth lining. Um, I prefer lined bags, which is why I stayed away from the Mulberry, Bayswater, and Co. Um, you can see the Chloe tag in the back here. In the front you have this nice little mini pocket for some things you need to grab quickly like lipstick, lip gloss, maybe your phone. Um, and currently we have the identification cards in here. Sorry, I'm going to have to put this down. Certificate of Authenticity. And this little care card, I guess. Let's try to get the camera to focus. A Chloe leather good will become more beautiful with age, provided the following key instructions are observed. So basically the care card. I will read this in greater detail shortly. And so there you have the bag. Look at how cute it is, guys. This is just to show you what the bag looks like on. I would film in my bedroom except that it's kind of messy right now. And I'm not really an actual YouTuber who wants to go through the trouble of cleaning the whole place up. I don't have a tripod, I don't have any of that special technology. I just wanted to show off my new adorable little tan baby mini Marcy shoulder bag. So basically, it's a small handbag, but that's why I got it. Originally, I had bought actually the round saddlebag version of this. Um, it's a relatively new bag, I think. Came out maybe 2013, 2014, and it is completely round. And there's a mini version of that, as well as a medium-sized round crossbody version of that and I got the medium one because the mini was really small I could tell from some of the fashion blogs I looked at and I wanted something bigger than that because again I was looking for a replacement for the pink Kate Spade bag um, and so I got the medium one but then it came out really large and it's totally round which didn't look as feminine to me and also was a little too casual like, I still want to look cute on vacation. So, I think this bag is absolutely perfect. Okay, guys, one last thing I wanted to show you, for the sake of being thorough, how the front works. So, first of all, it does say Chloe right here, which is nice and subtle, but still gives you the brand name. 
these two little tassels stick through here. That's how it stays closed besides the zipper. The zipper is really key. The other thing that I didn't like about the Chloe crossbody saddle bag in round or small is that it doesn't have a top zipper. It relies on the flap and the flap just gets tucked into this little ring at the bottom and it didn't seem very secure especially if you want to wear this when you're going out and on vacation. So this is more secure but it does still have this little cute flap. And in here you have an extra little pocket for storing your cards or your phone. Basically similar things you would want to put in here. So just to let you guys know a little bit more about the bag, I wanted to show you how much you can hold in it. And it's pretty much the perfect amount for me. Um, I do love handbags, but at the same time, I really don't enjoy hauling around a very large tote bag, especially in the nook of my elbow. I'm not a very big person, strong person. I like to have my hands free. I'm very practical. Um, so I want to look cute and practical at the same time. So this bag is perfect for that. So here's what I'm holding in it. I have my keys in this front little pocket. You just have to be careful that the keys don't scratch this area on its way in. Then you can open this up. Again, don't open it up all the way or it's kind of hard to re-zip. And I have my lipstick in the little mini pocket. And I still have the care cards there because I just like to leave them there. And then I also have sunglasses. My oil absorbing sheets, which are like my biggest beauty secret slash like product that I need the most. My phone, a Samsung Galaxy Note 4, which is quite large, as you can tell. Um, a little bit larger than the iPhone 6 Plus for those of you with that phone. My mini wallet that I use all the time and I love. It's very convenient. And it's all kind of thick. No problem putting it in here. And some extra feminine supplies. So this is what I can easily fit without overloading the bag. And this is the perfect amount for me because this is what I like to carry when I'm running errands throughout the day or if I'm on vacation. This is approximately what I'd be carrying with maybe the addition of a passport or a small bottle of sunblock. All right.